What is Bitcoin helping? When does it happen? How does it affect the price of Bitcoin? Well, stick around. Hi everyone, this is Mattis from Cryptarium and this is Crypto Minute, a series of short videos where we will cover some basic concepts about digital currencies, money management and investment. Let's get started. Before we can understand what is Bitcoin holding, let's make sure that we are all on the same page. Unlike fiat currencies like the dollar or the euro, the supply of Bitcoin doesn't depend on a central authority that prints as much as it wants. When Bitcoin was created in 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto, he set the maximum supply of Bitcoin at 21 million. To ensure the stability of the currency and prevent inflation, Satoshi came with a way to distribute new Bitcoin gradually. Bitcoin mining. Miners are responsible for validating transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain and rewarded with new Bitcoin. When it all started, the reward was set at 50 BTC per block. However, Nakamoto added to the protocol a rule where every 210,000 blocks which is roughly every four years, the reward would be cut in half. The Bitcoin halving 2020 is the third event of such kind. The first Bitcoin halving took place in late 2012 at block number 210,000. At that time, the reward was reduced from 50 to 25 BTC per block. The second event occurred in mid 2016 at block 420,000 and it reduced the reward to 12.5. Now, will this process ever stop? Of course, Bitcoin halvings will continue until sometime near the year 2040, when all 21 million Bitcoins are mined. Why are Bitcoin halvings so important? Well, as I've quickly mentioned before, these events are meant to control the supply of new Bitcoins and to control its value. Imagine if all BTC will suddenly be mined at once, that would create a disequilibrium between supply and demand, and therefore hurting the value of the currency. Now, let's get to the interesting part. How Bitcoin halvings actually affect the price of Bitcoin? By the time of the first halving in 2012, Bitcoin traded at $11 per unit. Only a year after that event, it jumped to a peak of $1,100. The second halving met Bitcoin at nearly $800, and a year and a half later, the currency reached a record high of $20,000. Now, will that pattern repeat? While there is no certainty about it, many analysts suggest it might, because of the supply-demand balance. Others relied on something called the stock-to-flow price model. And according to it, Bitcoin could reach a value of $288,000 following the third halving. No need to say this wouldn't happen overnight and it might take some time to get there. With all of this in mind, you can take your chances and try to profit from this particular event. Of course, you have to be very careful since the cryptocurrency market is highly volatile. If you are betting on a higher price, then you can easily buy BTC using the Cryptarium wallet, which allows you to pay with your debit or credit card and the BTC is instantly delivered to you. On the other hand, if you expect prices to drop, you can protect your investment by simply exchanging your current Bitcoin for a stable coin such as USDC or USDT, both available on our wallet. I hope this video gives you a better idea of what Bitcoin halvings are, why they are so important, and how they affect the price of BTC. Do you have any questions? Just leave them in the comment section below. And if you have enjoyed watching this video, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for new ones. Thanks for joining me here at Crypto Minute by Cryptarium. I'm Matias. See you soon.